is starting to come up over the treetops. And it's gonna be a beautiful day at the plain sea. But I won't be around at all, so don't even bother calling. I'm going fishing with LFD today. Hey, hit the like button for just throwing back old school music on you, fishing shows. Why don't you name that show in the comments down below? I wanna know. That's what I grew up with. We're making our own fishing shows nowadays, y'all. It's pretty cool. And today's really awesome because I'm gonna be fishing with, uh, with the guy that got me started into fishing. His name is my dad. LFD. I told him I'd, I'd take him out today. It is his birthday. Actually, his birthday was yesterday. We celebrated, but uh, we're going fishing today. We're going to have a good time. Just father and son. Can you strap a little GoPro on? Just have some fun. Father and son. On the rhymes this morning. Let's see if we can get on the bass, though. LFD. Yes. How's it feel to be 60 years hey, into glad, the world? I'm glad to be here. 60 years of wisdom. 60 years of uh, fishing knowledge. Fishing knowledge and fishing mistakes that have led me to where I am today. Well, I'm feeling like that bird right there is where we need to start. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just let the birds guide you. That's some of that, that knowledge. So I'm gonna uh, start on this side and then work towards that bird. Where that bird is, where it drops off. The last three times I've been here, I've caught fish every time right there. Early morning, get your spinner bait out and give it a whirl. That bird right there is standing on a a boulder that sticks out. Oh, we got one. Yeah. Early bird gets the grub. I'm gonna roll roll back around this cove here in a second. I think the key is you gotta get it right on up there without getting it stuck. I need to basically hear it coming off the bank. They're not wanting to tickle the tops today. Oh, watch out. That was a big bass. Throw over there. That was a big bass. You could hear the suction. Oh, got him. Oh, come on. Are you still on there? Oh, come on. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I'm dandy. Throwing a new top water, y'all. We got two styles. Well, actually, we have buzz baits as well. This is kind of like a mix between, a, you know, like a spook and a, and a gunfish. You're hooked up, Dad. Did you get that fish that was up there? Oh yeah. I'm glad you cleared that one out of the way. He pulled drag like he was El Mondo for a sec, like father, like son. Okay. At least. Little crappie jig. You just snuck up there with that crappie jig. I did. I thought, hey, if you miss that top water, he'll surely hit this. You're right. Ooh. Got it. Oh, that's a little better. Maybe. No. A little guy. Come here, sir. Oh, yeah. Okay, first fish of the day for me. A little bigger than dad's. Let's just take note of that. But dad first uh, had first blood, so just a nice, healthy, you know, 14 inch, probably keeper bass. Really nice. Hey, what I'm rigging up right here, right now, y'all, is, uh, is a little shaky head creature rig. For my dad i think this little head hitting on the rocks is a, is a big deal this is actually a carl's amazing baits little creature bait a gator hog so i'm also going to take some of this jj's magic right here and just dip the little tails just give them a little flare a little excitement Well, this guy had it for a while. <laughs> it dropped off that ledge and he was he was sitting there with it. Just got it down his little gullet there, little guy. Switched up to uh, a Mondo worm. Not the 10 inch, that's all I'll say. Put it on that shaky head, which I think is key right now. It just makes 
it makes the right sound on those rocks going through the side gill plate twist and lift it out of there all right buddy see ya little guy will not let go of my worm i'm gonna have to set it he's tiny Got him deep. That's a big one. Oh, we come on. That was a dandy. Not sure what happened there, but that that was the one. Throwing up shallow, getting little bites, and then trying to work it out deep. Haven't gotten many. I think it's because it's just morning. There's still a lot of shallow feeding, but just being really shy on hard baits. And that one was. That one was the good one. That was probably 15 feet down. That's what's up there, a little biting our baits. I think there's a few big ones up there that are, are feeding, but not many. Dang, man, I got a good hook set on that one too. He was, like, he was taking line. Just right under the boat and I just jerked him through up to the bank and I got a micro bass. Sucks about these guys, they always tear up your plastics too voraciously slinging their heads around. Wow, is that a bluegill? I think it might be, green sunfish. Let's evaluate the species here. It's uh, yeah, it's a green sunfish. Update, we haven't really got out of the, uh, I was gonna say four pound zone, two pound zone currently. I had a big one on, just loaded up and I knew for sure it was a big bass, probably over five, but I don't know what happened. The hook just popped out. Sometimes that's the way she goes. So right now I'm idling, trying to find some more rocks. Like some, that seems to be key. We're gonna run around the lake a little bit too, try to look for these rocks, but um, just going slow. Those shaky heads, taking the bottom, creature baits, worms, throwing some prototype baits today. Won't be out for a while, but same it's pretty good what are you thinking what are your thoughts birthday boy well they're deep the bigger ones are deep the bigger ones are deep yeah the small ones are up on the shoreline that's been evident we have learned that i'm thinking about throwing a lipless crankbait get it down deep rip it over the top of their heads go for it man go for it come on worm is your thing i know i know worm's your when thing, i was man. a younger man that's all i did now that i'm you know 60 it's uh Harder to feel. It's, yeah, it's, you know. You never lose the feel. You may lose your sight, but don't ever lose that feel. I agree. I agree. LFT out here helping me film. My GoPro died. So, uh, just found a little bit of rocks like we were talking about. I was dragging a Mondo worm. Got a big Like a big bass for this lake is. You know, a nice bass, like three to four pounds. Wouldn't you agree, Dad? Like when we catch three or four pounds. Oh yeah. Like, oh yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. And uh, I think this one's gonna be in the five. You just gotta get a little bit deeper for that bigger bite. Strong. They are strong. They're so healthy. The, the lake was so high this spring, it was like so hard to fish, and now they're just look. Hey, he's just got it down his throat. Okay, here we go. Come down here with my dad. Take a look at this guy, if you can. Just go ahead and hit the like button for 60 year old dad out here filming. I want you to just look down that throat right there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, because I caught this fish deep, I'm gonna put it in the live well for a second. I've got an oxygenator on this boat. and get it going back to life and then we'll let it go. Okay, so we'll get that, that fish all spruced up with the oxygenator here on the silver bullet and uh, send her back on into the deeps. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it because literally the first cast that I've made uh, with this bait, I did it the other day with Rob. First cast, I hooked a fish about four pounds. Been working on some, you know, future generation models of Guggen baits and that was one of them there. Just be on the lookout, it's, it's happening. I've caught a lot of big fish, all those baits so far. There's other stuff that I filmed the other day. You guys won't see for a while, but it, mm, it's pretty good. 
Okay, Dad. You know the cast to make? I'm ready. Just send her on out. Don't throw that lipless. <laughs> I'm yeah. convinced. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's proof is in the pudding. I don't know how many fish are living down there. It might be one of those situations where there's only a few fish on that spot, but they're just good ones. That's sometimes the deal on, on the summertime fishing, you know, you just have to hop around a bunch and catch a, if you're trying to like catch a big bag, you know, catch a few, one good fish off each spot, brush pile, whatever it is, and then just keep going. Cha-ching, baby, begging. Okay. Old Mr. Big Bass here is nice and ready to go. Grab him by the face. Already got a couple pictures. And uh, we're just gonna let it go. To go back into the deeps. Oh, you are such a sweetie pie. Wa-bam. Okay. It's time to uh, fish down the bank a little bit more. We are very, very fortunate, I dare say blessed, to have some cloud cover. Please don't go away. It feels like we've been in the desert for two weeks out here in Texas, so uh, maybe a little chance of rain. It rained last night. I was hoping that was gonna get the top waters tickling, but it did not. It had one little bite on there, one decent bite. It's just a slow dragon worm kind of day, which is fine with me. Hooked up. Little offshore bass. Had it. Oh, I can feel him just chomping on my line. Here we go. Nice fish. Nice, you know, nice little 14 inch bass. These are just healthy summer fish. Not a big one, but sign of life. Just ran to another spot. And that fish was offshore here in about eight, eight to 10 foot of water. See you, buddy. The setup here that I'm using, really good for feeling bites. I've talked about this a little bit before. I've got 12, this is either 12 or 15 uh, Guggen Squad Fluoro, and that's a liter onto um, a 20 pound uh, Guggen Squad uh, uh, braid. There's got to be a few of them in here. My dream is to find a spot like this out here that's just got like dozens of bass on it. Oh, there's another bite. I think. Nope. Oh, yes. Oh, God, I pulled it out of his daggum mouth. I don't think it's that cool. Like, that is a big wake that's coming. Oh, little bass up there. I want that big in. Hang on, Dad. Wakes are coming. Oh, there's another one. Man, just getting like destroyed by some little fish here. Wow. I think that's what was biting me down there. When you're a little guy like that eating a mondo worm, you've got some serious ferocity. I'm not 100% certain about that species, but it's going back. Oh, chasing Chad right there. Oh, they're bringing him up. Those are those are bass, Dad. Those are bass. Oh, look at them. Look at them. They're bass. Popping those shad out of the water. Oh my gosh, I ran my lure right by him. Why not throw it top water? Midday. Oh no! Tangled my danglers. Danglers untangled. It's probably too late. You got about five and a half seconds usually on those situations. Oh, he's by it. Come on now. Ho! Oh. I'm gonna keep trying. They revealed themselves down there. Did you get a fish? Yeah. What do you got? A white bass? On the flutter. That was 100% um, a largemouth that I saw just yeah. hovering on that shad. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's gotta be a big bass. Absolutely smashed it. 
absolutely smash that Mondo worm. It's, it's got, oh yeah, it's a giant. It's a giant on the Mondo. Big in, baby. Smash the Mondo worm out in like 30 feet of water. God, I knew I saw some good ones on the graph right there. Look at that big bass. Oh, baby. No. It's a nice fish though. God, he just, he smashed it so hard. Come here. Come here, Brutus. <laughs> Boom. Bah. Mondo. I'm gonna put this one in the well, just like the last one, revive it. Another big in on the Mondo Mondo. The 10 inch Mondo worm, one of my favorite summertime colors, red bug. I've said this before, but this purple colored worms, I know this one's not purple, but this is like the exception. June bug, blue fleck, dark purple reds. I don't know, they just do it in the summertime. That's on a, I think that's a quarter. I know it's a 5 16 ounce weight pegged. And uh, that was deep. I was like 30 feet deep. Got one? Dad's hooked up. Large mouth or white bass? White bass. No, it's a large mouth. Not a giant? Not a giant, but dad's hooked up. A little shaky head. He's out there getting it done. Getting it done in the deeps. Pretty fish. Okay. Second one. Yes. Right after. Yeah, right after you caught that big one, I said, I'm going to get in that spot, see what I can do. And uh, hey, I'm going back. Yo, I'm going to tell you that bite I had, one of the best bites of like deep bites of the year for me. I just knew it was like, boom. And literally, I was telling dad, because we were trying, we were in that weird time zone where it was like we were kind of fishing up shallow and they were moving off. It's like these fish are probably move. It's about time for them to move out a little bit, get settled in the deeps. I was like, there's just something about when you throw a big worm or a jig out there in deep water, like 20 plus, and you get a bite and you just know it's probably gonna be a hog. And that one, it was exactly, exactly like I was talking about. Just brought it up and boom. Oh yeah, it's big, big, big. So, got to freaking love it. Smash that like button, y'all. Okay, y'all. Just another nice toad out here. This might be the day in here because it's just such a hot. It's gonna be a hot day. It's been a great morning. Oh, so sweet. One of my favorite bites of the year so far. Well, of the of the summer. Let's say that. Nice, healthy, fat fish. These fish are just doing well. Had that fish in the oxygenator. Got it all revived, ready to go. It should just take off. God, there's gotta be an absolute hog down there. This area right here, they've got big gizzard chad, probably crappie, a lot of bluegill living in those rocks. God, come on. There should be just like an eight pounder on this thing. How can that be the only two fish? There's a bite. Oh, he broke me off. That was a good bite too. Woo! Fresh retie as well. I think that, that. No, I think there's some zebra action in there. Okay, I'll give her one more try. Oh, that Mondo, 17 pound. Ought to do it. We've broken off two fish in the last five minutes. It's been very disappointing. Oh God, that must've been like a uh, rope or fishing line because I lifted up and it pulled back. And I was like, oh, that's her. Woo. Woo. That felt nice. I'll try getting a little crank on them here. They've been liking it very slow today, but try to get one on a crank. We've seen, seen a couple of fish come up. Oh, there's 
fight. Yeah. Oh, nice fish. Oh, sugar booger. Not much fight to you. One last little jump. Good fish. I guess we'll end on that healthy chunk. Coming on a Mondo worm. Nice fish to end the day on with the Mondo worm. We're gonna close it out right here with a sniff and a flip. That's right, I said a flip. This is gonna be a crazy release. Just in honor of my dad, happy birthdayness, summertime, bass fishing, a couple of five, six pounders in a day, and then just ending it on, on a good old fashioned Mondo worm. And I'm really hot and I wanna get it in the lake. I'm gonna jump in with the bass. Don't forget to subscribe right here to the channel. Go ahead and hit the like button for awesomeness and go ahead and check out uh, the link down below for our Guggen Squad shirt of the month. And right now we are launching the special rigged series. Go ahead and check that out, uh, especially if you're a John P. fan. And I will see you guys right here on the next one. You ready to go? Let's do it. I'm just gonna hold it like a football maybe. Here we go. See y'all in the next one.